This year, millions of your tax dollars were spent to upgrade a system to speed up how quickly Tennesseans can get their unemployment benefits. But a Channel 4 I-Team investigation found months after that upgrade, wait times are still far behind federal guidelines. Here's the I-Team's Lindsey Bramson with her investigation. After this upgrade was implemented, the I-Team still kept getting calls from the unemployed saying they couldn't get answers as to why it was taking so long to get benefits. And we had one major question for the commissioner. Could he wait that long for a paycheck? Oh, I'm going to get you. You're looking at the number one reason why Chasta Brewer needs a paycheck. You know, I got a house note. You know, I got all my bills. I got my daughter. So when this single mother lost her job in June, she turned to help from the state. And that's when the waiting began. What's going on? Where, where are the people that work there? And even though the state's own website says it typically takes 21 days to process individual unemployment claims, and that even in seasonal peaks, it can take up to six weeks, a Channel 4 I-Team investigation found people waiting two months to get that first deposit. Thank you for calling the Tennessee Department of Labor. And Brewer says when she tried to call to ask for an update on her case, she got this. Please leave your name, a brief message. I mean, I've called numerous times and nobody picks up at all. She even emailed on week eight, verifying that she was still job searching, writing, I have certified for eight weeks now with no payments and would really like to know what's going on. Are you currently working at this time? And this kind of delay comes even after an $11 million system upgrade to the Department of Labor's 43-year-old computer system back in May. So why, more than four months later, are people still waiting months for financial help? Do you think eight weeks is acceptable? It's not acceptable to me. You know, we want to get back up into the 95, 96, and 97 percentile, and we will. But right now, the state isn't at 97 percent. Far from it. While the commissioner says 59 percent of claims are getting approved within 21 days, that still leaves 41 percent of people waiting longer than three weeks. Tamala Ensrod was on week five of waiting when we spoke with her. It should be quicker because you don't know people's situations. So these are people who really need this help. And, you know, 41 percent greater than 21 days, it really is unacceptable. Mark Green is the vice chair of the legislative committee that deals with unemployment issues. We're talking about taking care of the people who are the most vulnerable. Here we are interviewing him in 2014 when the I-Team uncovered major backlogs in unemployment cases. Two years later, he's growing weary of the delays. I, I think the department is, is making the right adjustments. We just we need improvement faster. We had taken it from 40% to 97%, and we'll do the same with this one. But anytime you replace a 43-year-old program, you're going to have some issues. Commissioner Burns Phillips says, like with any major computer upgrade, there are always kinks to work out. While he says it's working, he admits it could be better. And knowing how long people like Brewer had to wait, we had this question for the commissioner. Let me ask you, what, what if you didn't get a check for eight weeks? Mm -hmm. Well, I would hope that I had saved some money prior to that so that I could withstand that kind of a, uh, absence of a paycheck. And some good news. Brewer finally received her benefits after eight weeks. And after we interviewed Tamala Ensrud, she received her benefits too. Now, the Department of Labor tells me they're going to be hiring more part-time employees to help field calls. They also tell me that they're going to be sending teams to the vendor's corporate offices in Florida to help work out the kinks. And lastly, the commissioner also says he expects to have the majority of issues fixed within two months and be back up in that 97 percentile we told you about. We requested an interview two months from now to make sure that's the case. Tonight we have some new information on the system upgrade causing delays in unemployment benefits for thousands of people right here in Tennessee. Since the upgrade last spring, wait times have been far behind federal guidelines. During our investigation in September, we were told things would be better by November. So the Channel 4 I team's Lindsey Branson went back to the Department of Labor to see what progress has been made.
When we sat down with the commissioner back in September, he said he expected to be out of what he called a hole in a few weeks or at max a month or two. But the Channel 4i team has learned some people are still waiting several months to get paid. Job searching for Melissa Dixon has become a full-time job in itself. She's been at it since she lost her job back in September. This totally blindsided everyone. The first thing she did, file for unemployment. But nine weeks later, she never thought she'd still be waiting to get paid. The website will tell you 21 days to get approved. It's been well over the 21 days. Melissa remembers our story from September when Commissioner Burns Phillips responded to this question. Let me ask you, what, what if you didn't get a check for eight weeks? Mm -hmm. Well, I would hope that I had saved some money prior to that so that I could withstand that kind of a, uh, absence of a paycheck. How do you prepare for losing your job when you have no idea it's coming? During that same interview, the commissioner also said this. We expect to be out of this hole in, probably in, in weeks or certainly a month or two. He then went on to say the department was processing more than half of people's claims within 21 days. So the system is working grand majority of the people are being served. We went back last week to see what kind of progress has been made. Two months later, it's improving, but more than half the number of people filing for unemployment are still waiting longer than three weeks, in some cases just to find out if they've been approved. People are frustrated. Do you understand why they're frustrated? Sure. Mm -hmm. We're frustrated too. Commissioner Phillips says what they're doing is chipping away at that backlog, going from 20,000 claims in September to 12,000 now. That backlog is why Phillips says thousands of people are still waiting to get paid. And the number of new claims taking longer than three weeks was 11,000 two months ago and is now down to 6,000. We asked Commissioner Phillips in our last interview about the timing of the system upgrade, which, remember, was back in May and was supposed to process people's claims faster. Did it go live before it was ready? Mm, I don't think so. When we asked last week? Now, we had the information then that we have today. We might have delayed it some. So you admit it, it, you maybe jumped the gun on that? I admit that we made a decision based on the information that we were provided. Now the Department of Labor has a specialized team whose only job right now is to work with the vendor, Geographic Solutions, to get through that backlog and get people paid faster. It's another indication of what we're trying to do as a department to solve this issue. Frustrated job seekers are even going to the governor's office, which has received nearly 500 complaints since May. The Channel 4i team has also uncovered information regarding three employees who were responsible for implementing the new system in May, but then retired in July. When we asked the commissioner why. Anything that happens in this department, I own. He refused to give any further details. Let's get back to that team I mentioned, the one created this summer to help fix things. Their job is to enhance the system and make it more effective. Dustin Swain, deputy commissioner, is in charge of it, trying to get things back to 87 percent, which is what the federal government requires. Do you feel bad for people, many of them who are waiting two, three months just to, just to find out whether they've been approved? Certainly. It's not where we want to be right now, but we're doing the very much the best we can with the resources, the great resources that we have to make the system better. Oh, palm in your forehead again. You know, here we go. I mean, it, it's just, it's getting ridiculous at this point. The same day we interviewed Melissa, who remember was on week nine of waiting when we talked with her, she got this email telling her she had finally been approved. There should have been some due diligence and some testing done on another system before they went live. The commissioner says they hope to eliminate that backlog by Christmas, which would then help process new claims faster. Remember, once that backlog is gone, most claims should be filed within three weeks or so. That's according to the commissioner. You can be sure come Christmas time, we'll be checking back in with him to see where things stand. Reporting for the Channel 4i team, I'm Lindsay Bramson.